Welcome back everybody. Today I'm gonna to be answering some questions that you have for me about this jack vise. The first one, you asked me how come I didn't use the automatic feed on the lathe when cutting the spiral on the jaws? And the simple answer to that is, I don't have a high enough feed rate. This is like a 200 to 300 thousandths center line between spiral rings and the machine just can't physically advance fast enough to make this pattern. So I had to do it by hand. The second question, the handle you put on this jack is absolutely stupid and it will not work. Well, what about this one that looks exactly like the one I just made on a commercial jack? <laughs> this is kind of the standard, guys. This is what jacks have on them, is a bent 90 held in by a pin. I didn't do anything that production jacks don't have on there. Third question is, how come we didn't put a socket on the end of this? Well, I don't need to put a socket on the end of this because I put a hex on the inside so I could use a wrench so that I don't see any need to have a socket on the outside for impact. Fourth question, the pins that I used are too weak and they're going to bend. These are half inch diameter pins and they're hard, so they're uh, less likely to bend. And look at this one. That is maybe 3 eighths of an inch and that's a half of an inch. Mine are much bigger. So do I think that the pins are too small on this machine? No, I do not. If you want to build your own and you want to build them with 5 8 pins, go right ahead. You can absolutely do that. Fifth question, when I use this jack outside in the gravel, the wheels are not going to roll. Put bigger wheels on the jack. First things first, all jacks have the same problem to have wheels on them. Look at this one. If I were to take this out in the gravel, these wheels are even smaller than mine. This is a floor jack. So not only in diameter, the same, but I have all that surface area. Jacks that have wheels on them have the same problem of getting stuck on a little piece of gravel, even here in the shop. It's just something that we deal with when we have jacks and we want to roll them outside. Realistically, all jacks have this problem and it can be solved with a simple piece of sheet metal or plywood. They can go underneath the jack so it can roll. And if you're in the mud, yes, this is what you do if you have a jack like this. If this does get stuck, what happens is the jack will actually drag the truck or the vehicle over to itself instead of the jack can also get drugged through the mud. It finds its center, but if we can reduce the rolling resistance by a piece of sheet metal or plywood, that's the best solution. Next question is storage of this vise. Some of you said that by storing this on the trailer hitch and this thing sticking out, somebody's gonna run into it and get killed. And the simple answer to that is that's not where this jack or vice lives. It doesn't live in the stinger. That's only when you need it to be used in vice form and on the job site. You collapse it and you take it off the hitch and you put it behind the seat of the truck or in the bed. That's where this jack lives. Doesn't live sticking out the back. So safety first lives in the truck, not out of the stinger. So hopefully that clarifies that for you. The other question is why didn't I use Acme? and I kind of respond to that in the video. And you guys have said that the Acme threads are stronger and it's gonna hold up much better. And you're right, Acme is the correct choice. But remember, this jack is only for emergencies. It might only get used one time in its entire lifetime, or not at all. So this screw is the same screw that I've used in this one. And I've pushed this to 40,000 pounds. And I use this vice every day. It regularly sees 10,000 pounds and it just has a normal off the shelf eight threads per inch. Grade eight bolt and it's holding up fantastically. And I've built the jack to replace the threads if it needs to be. So hopefully that answers your question. Let's talk about the foot for a second. A lot of you guys said I need to have some sort of rubber pad or piece of wood, make some bent edges on this pad so it doesn't slide off the truck frame. And yes, that is a great modification. I'm still in the prototype design stages with this, and I'm probably gonna make another three or four of them until I find one that I like. And when I do, I will then put all the gingerbread on it when that time comes. So that it will end up looking something like this where it has a little piece of grippy metal on the tines, something like that. But until I decide on a finalized version, it's gonna remain clean. So those are some simple questions that I've hopefully have answered. If you have more on this thing, I'd be happy to answer them. Am I going to make this tool? No, that's why you guys need to download the plans and make one for yourself and make all the modifications that you want to it. 